years. Good evening. Christopher Cornell pleaded guilty to three charges today and a deal that could keep him from spending the rest of his life in prison. Cornell was arrested in January of 2015 after federal agents uncovered his plan to attack the U.S. Capitol and he bought the guns and ammunition to carry it out. Local 12's Joe Webb has been following the story since we broke it in January of 2015. He is here with the very latest chapter. Joe. Well, Brad, Christopher Cornell pleaded guilty to three charges today. Attempted murder of government employees, possession of a firearm to commit violence, and attempted material support to foreign terrorists. The deal calls for 30 years in prison, but the plea deal also has some interesting new information about what he planned to do and what he's done since he's been in prison. In prison stripes, cuffed and shackled, Christopher Cornell repeatedly said, yes ma'am, to Judge Sandra Beckwith's questions Monday morning. He pled guilty to charges surrounding a plot to wage jihad at the U.S. Capitol in the name of foreign terrorists, specifically ISIL. Do you believe he was a legitimate threat to carry out these acts he described? Yes. No question. Yes, uh, he was arrested immediately after purchasing the firearms and the ammunition as was described in court today and as he admitted. Christopher Cornell was arrested January 14, 2015 after buying two semi-automatic rifles and 600 rounds of ammunition at Point Blank Indoor Shooting Range and Gun Shop. The FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force had been tracking his online activity and working with a confidential informant. In this case, we don't have any evidence that was presented to us that he had any contact with anyone overseas. And so, you know, this is somebody who was um, young, impressionable, lonely, um, depressed, uh, kind of living an online life at the time. The plea agreement revealed his plan was to attack the U.S. Capitol during the 2015 State of the Union address. It also revealed a situation last January, one year after he was jailed, when Cornell manipulated limited internet access to post a call to Jihad and gave the name and address of a confidential informant and witness. That was a difficult situation. You know, when somebody is detained, they are allowed access to some restricted sites for the purpose of conducting legal research. There was a, an incident causing an issue which caused him a step backwards and those have been addressed and he is now a step forward. Now the gun charge carried a maximum sentence of life in prison, but the plea agreement sets a maximum of 30 years and a minimum of five years. Now the government will argue for the maximum during a sentencing hearing in October. They will also present more details from their investigation. The defense will put on witness to talk about Cornell's mental state and argue for the minimum five years. That hearing should shed a lot more light on exactly what led up to his arrest. Brad. Joe, thanks very much. Christopher Cornell's father, John, was in court this morning. After the hearing, he said he loves his son and he is there to provide support. He says that Cornell has strong support from his family and friends.